All right, let me check out boy math because we we have already done a video on girl math. Boy math is wanting zero kids but having zero condoms. <laughs> boy math is spending hundred dollars on FanDuel and winning zero. Well, that's just fun. that's what I mentioned in my last video. I think modern day boy math is all about gambling. Gambling's out of control, bro. Anyone chronically online knows about the girl math trend, a funny, lighthearted joke among women to justify spending money. While men online saw the girl math trend going viral and took the joke way too seriously, responding with backlash against women for not even knowing how math works. <laughs> women, sometimes I rationalize my overspending by pretending it's free if I use cash, lol. You dumb bitch, that stupid hoes don't know math. I hate bitches. <laughs> In response to the hate, women have started boy math. So women created boy math? Those bitches where they're naming the utterly ridiculous things they have seen men do. So let's get to it. Boy math is knowing 75% of your head is balding and still getting haircuts on the last 25%. As I've never, I don't even can't relate. I can't relate. <laughs> it's not literally me. It's not, I'm wearing a hat because it's cool. All right, there's hair here. Look at all this hair, bro. Boy math is only having one pot, pan, spoon, fork, cup, and plate and asking her when she's gonna come cook for you. I don't know about that second part, but the first part is 100% true. <laughs> Even post-college. I mean, I remember when I lived in downtown SF when I worked at Twitch, like 21 to like 25, pretty much all those four years, I had like paper plates and like <laughs> two forks at my apartment and I would just eat at the Twitch office every day. <laughs> I remember I, <laughs> I would stay late at the at Twitch office and they had a jar of peanut butter there. And sometimes I would just fucking scoop half of that on a plate and eat that. Twitch paid terribly for me at the time. Literally like 60% of my income went to rent, but I also don't want to complain too much because I got Twitch shares that turned into Amazon shares one-to-one -one at the acquisition that went up like 100X in value or something. So it turned out pretty good later, but at the time, <laughs> at the time I had nothing. Boy math is them not wanting to spend $10 on flowers because they'll die. I have figured out a super sick trick because everybody tired is getting flowers for your girl, okay? Some of you fellas in the chat, if you have a girl who maybe is also like you, possibly a nerd, Lego flowers. This is a terrible image. <laughs> they look cooler than this. You could even, if you wanted to, you could build them together, okay? I have found it to be an excellent gift. Boy math is spending $100 on FanDuel and winning zero. We talked about this. Yeah, I mean... But the, the worst part is not just that they spend on FanDuel and win zero, is that they lie about it. People are liars when it comes to gambling. People do too much mental math to justify how they're always up. I have rarely in my life heard someone admit that they're down gambling, which is crazy because how the fuck do casinos build opulent palaces to the sky with 10 million lights 24 seven if nobody's losing? <laughs> Boy math is trading your one car for one motorcycle when you have three kids. <laughs> That's cool as hell, bro. <laughs> Those kids will get tougher because they'll be on the back, bro. Boy math is how 5'10 measures six feet. That's cold. I wouldn't know. I'm exactly six feet, so unironically, so I wouldn't know, but that is crazy. Same, <laughs> you guys do? All of you too? That's sick. Boy math is having a 70 inch TV, but no dining table. This is a very rational choice. And I don't think it's even just a boy thing. I think it's almost like a modern thing. <laughs> In a time when no one can afford a house, bro, what are, you, what are you getting a dining table for? You just fucking sit on the couch, you watch the TV, you eat in front of that. Boy math is being afraid of gold diggers when you only have three pairs of socks to your name. <laughs> There's some truth to that, but I think it's generally that because people are in a society that values wealth so much, and have fewer opportunities to get it. They get mad when they can't find a partner because they don't, you know what I'm saying? It's that, that's the idea, but they take it out in weird, angry ways. I'm not trying to rationalize calling people gold digger. I'm trying to rationalize the fact that people feel left out. They feel like if they don't have money, they can't even have a relationship. Doing some boy math. I'm not doing some boy math. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. Boy math is them wanting a prenup and they make 45K. <laughs> I want you to know I'm prenupless. All right, I'll ride or die. You don't have to clap that. I actually don't know if it's a good idea. Do what you will. <laughs> I just, I, I think Ari, I, I'm ride or die with Ari. You know why? It's not because I don't have money now and it's like, whatever. It's because Ari was with me when I made less than 45. And by the way, if whatever reason, uh, listen, we love each other. But if fucking 20 years from now, I'm an asshole, we, whatever. She earned it, bro. <laughs> she had to put up with me playing League of Legends and Shardbound for fucking 20 years, bro. I swear to God, I, if she if she didn't fucking break up with me then, 
She can have some of my fucking NVIDIA stock, bro. That's, that's on God. This is, play this to the divorce lawyer. Play this clip. <laughs> Her fucking lawyer finds this in fucking 10 years. Boy math is getting your heart broken once in grade school and then seeking revenge on every girl you date afterwards. All people do this. This is this is a, this is a human experience, which is that formative memories of our youth shape us in negative and positive ways. How is that math though? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> They have dropped the math conceit, I will say. This is just, <laughs> this is boy sociology. Boy math is when he does the oil changes and snow shoveling and she does the cooking and laundry and he decides they have equal workloads because they both do two chores. I do this too, which is like, I'll do some classic boy chores, like taking out the trash. But the dirty secret is taking out the trash is not that hard. <laughs> it's not even a secret because I feel like men are like, don't tell. <laughs> As if women aren't acutely aware. <laughs> Here's, here's another problem I wanna talk about. It's related to this. There's a thing men sometimes do, and I'm generalizing, which is called weaponized incompetence. <laughs> Where it's like, she might ask you to fucking mop the floor or something. And it's like, you do such a bad job that it's not worth her time to have to fix it. It's just too much effort to get you to do it right. And so they'll just do it themselves. That is a thing. But I also wanna say, that I also have what's called genuine incompetence. <laughs> Boy math is asking an educated woman to name off random numerous wrestling facts matches to prove she is indeed knowledgeable about said sport. Yeah, I, again, this happens to Ari at magic events where, where it's just like, oh, you like magic? You don't know about 2001's Odyssey set's best card, do you? That being said, because Ari is such a fucking obsessive, <laughs> I actually think she's untouchable now. Because literally sometimes at night, she will just look at old cards and read the whole thing. She'll look at, she likes the art, so she'll look at every single one. And she's listened to like 200 episodes of fucking Mark Rosewater's podcast. She actually knows more about magic than like anybody I fucking know. But I don't think it should be required. I don't think it should be required. You know, this happens too, is I'm not a big sports person again in general, but I, there's this woman named Mima, Mina Kynes. Am I saying her name right? I, I only see her on Twitter. She's a popular football reporter. And man, she just constantly gets people in her, her comments like, oh, do you even know who threw the most touchdown passes in 94 or whatever? And it's like, so obviously you're just threatened by this in some ways. Like it's so, <laughs> it's cringe. It just comes off as cringe, but we can all tell it's cringe. Uh, Boy Math is giving your baby mom $107 a month in child support and thinking it funded her trip to Aruba. I can't relate. I don't know this one, but it has a lot of retweets. <laughs> so this is probably very popular. This one is probably, this is math and it's probably true. There's probably men who are looking at every single Instagram post of their ex-wife <laughs> and silently or loudly judging them for anything they spend money on because they're, that's probably true. That sounds true to me. So that's boy math, huh? Extremely interesting. Extremely interesting. I wish there was more gambling stuff because I think that's a huge part of it, but is there any others? Is there examples in chat of boy math? Boy math is spending $100 a year on the same game cod dude fuck it what about 2k there's some math going on to justify those purchases <laughs> dude it's just crazy because you think about it it's like what did the triple a game used to cost it's almost cliche at this point you know what i'm saying because reddit has said it so often it's like i don't even it's like why but like it is shocking that to have the full experience you are kind of incentivized to spend money and you have to spend hundreds to get close to the best teams and packs and squads so tuxedo mast Boy math is waiting 10 minutes before getting ready for an appointment that takes 10 minutes to arrive to. Uh, yeah, I'm super guilty of this. What I don't do is I never factor in getting ready time at all. And I always have the most optimistic view of how traffic will go. In my mind, if something is exactly nine minutes away on Google Maps, I can leave, you know, at 9.51 <laughs> and I will get there on time. I don't know. And I just assume I can grab everything I need on the way out the door, but it never works out that way. And if there's any traffic at all, I am like uproariously late. I'm a guy who is 45 minutes early for everything and waits in the parking lot. <laughs> you exist? People like you exist? That's based, but crazy. You get there early and just wait. That's that's cool. I mean, good for you. No, no one ever got fired for being early, bro. I mean, that's that, you know what I'm saying? I've made an effort. I think I think especially this year I've been a lot better. Last year I was terrible. Just fully fully admit it. Last year I was terrible about being places on time and like I don't know. I just always overestimate it. But I've been like I've been baking in a lot of fail safe time. You had a job? Yeah. 
I did. I had a job all last year. And it made, I mean, dude, I, I don't go into it, but it's actually insane. I did that for two years. It's actually insane. I just, it was insane that I would wake up every day for a fucking 7.30 stand-up meeting with Europe, go until a 6.30 meeting with China at night, take a half hour break to make a thumbnail and eat dinner with my wife and then go live for three hours and then go to bed and then do it again every single day for two years. I think that's fucking crazy. I think it's crazy and I'm so fucking glad Ari put up with it. <laughs> that shit was fucking ridiculous.